Okay, guys, so, uh, this is my, uh, American 440 mock. I think it looks good. So, let's discuss some of the details on it. First of all, we have this little valve that actually turns. It, I don't know what this valve could be for, but, you know, some steam locomotives, including the big boy, have exterior valves that aren't in the cab. The funnel, you know, it's not actually a normal thing. So let me show you. So basically what I did was I grabbed, I got two, I, or I got four of these uh, two by two round bricks, connected two of them together. Then I, let's see, I can't do one hand. Um, then I stuck a cross axle in the middle so that there would actually be a, a hole on top so that it would be more believable as a funnel if you get on there. And the lamp. It's just a headlight brick and a and a one by one circular tile. This is the number plate where the number would go or something else. This has side rods that actually move. Don't know how it could make pistons, but, you know, at least it has side rods. And they're actually connected to a motor, so I think this would actually go faster than a triple Lego model. Because it has bigger wheels. So, yeah. I might have to fix. Doesn't look too good, but it's the best I could do. It's just connected to one of these, uh... 4x4 four four circular bricks with the holes in the on the side so I can put this in the side. These wires filling up the cab and the tender. The system works like this. This is the motor. <laughs> this is the IR receiver. And then this is the uh uh battery box. And I just realized there's a Hair on it. I can't get it out right now. We have the on switch. I have to use a different brick for that because I can't really tell if it's on or off. Coupling system for the tender and the look move. This is not optimal, so please don't do this. I'm, I'm just stupid. I, this can actually negotiate um, R40 turns. And it actually looks good on them. Although it does hit stuff on the side of the tracks. Oh, ah! Cab is attached to uh, jumper plates so you can t take it off and see that there's a firebox. There's not a fire inside the firebox. The firebox is not on fire. Flippy Miller. There has a turning brake wheel. Probably release that so I can drive it away at the end of the video. Actually, isn't a real um, official Lego cow catcher. It's actually a uh, knockoff Lego cow catcher. This thing is actually powered. I just push it because I lost the remote to the original high speed train set that the m motor and wiring stuff came from. I'll probably have to either get some more power function stuff or just try and get some powered up. I'd rather have power functions because I don't want to, you know, have to get on my phone whenever I want to drive this thing. But hey, you know, if we can't find any power functions, then, you know, as a tail lamp. But. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Peace, guys. See you. Bye-bye.